nervous. Good evening, everyone. Tonight is a pivotal moment in our lives. Graduation is the last of many great accomplishments that we will have made together as a class. In the classroom, we have worked diligently, studied hard, and produced test scores that ranked us above most of the other schools in our region. Athletically, we have competed for district, regional, and state championships. Anyone who has followed the local newspaper in the last four years has read about the numerous achievements made by the class of 2011. However, we cannot take full credit for everything that we have accomplished. There's been plenty of help, help along the way. This evening, would, I would like to recognize and thank some of those who have been with us throughout our journey. The first group we need to thank is the parents. When I think about the effect our parents have had on us, the first thing that I think of is my first day of kindergarten at Hawkins Elementary School. Everyone's first day of school is filled with both excitement and fear. Our first day of school signified, for most of us, the first time we would be separated from our parents for an extended period of time. Up until then, for the most part, we had been with them every, all day, every day. The first sep this first separation can be emotionally straining on some six and seven year olds. So, I remember that on the first day of school, several of my classmates were crying. Very quickly, however, everyone got over this separation, and our days as students began. Throughout our school years, our parents have been there with us along the way. They helped us with homework, made our lunches, drove us to and from practices, help, helped with fundraisers, worked on booster clubs, paid for our clothes and school supplies, gave us emotional support, and the list goes on and on. Now, with high school, with high school at an end, and changes fast approaching, it's time for another major separation from our parents. Just like on that first day of school, these new changes will these new changes will come with both fear, with both excitement and fear. Parents, even if we don't show it, all of us have some of that fear in us. Without you around, we are all going to experience some struggle. For every new freedom, there will be responsibilities. So remember that even if we don't always do a good job of showing it, and no matter how far away we choose to go, we are truly thankful for everything you do, and we will always love you. The second group of people that I would like to thank is the teachers and coaches. It is, their, it is their professional guidance that has got us to where we are today. They have filled us with knowledge and determination and provided us with the tools we need to, make the, to, make, to take the journey into the next phase of our lives. Sometimes it is hard to thank teachers because, well, they give us homework. But we can only imagine the amount of time they dedicate to grading papers, tutoring students individually, and creating lesson plans that challenge each student's unique abilities. Coaches also have dedicated a tremendous amount of time to make us who we are today. And since most of our coaches are also teachers, they deserve a double thanks. At this time, I would like to give a special thank you to my three coaches that have led me through high school and made me who I am today. Coach Blankenship, thank you for the faith you had in me as a player and for challenging me both on and off the field. I will always remember the way you can use both your intellect and humor in your teaching. And of course, the strange fixation you have with chicken and cheese. <laughs> Ms. Baker, thank you for the confidence and compassion you have shown towards me and all of your other athletes and students. You, you may still think that I am weird, but I've learned a lot from you. <laughs> and finally, Coach Wallace, thank you for teaching me toughness and self-discipline. No matter how old I get, I'll always remember that when it comes to physical exercise, water and stretching are overrated. <laughs> and now, the final group of people that we need to thank is each other. The class of 2011 is not what it is today because of only a handful of its members. Each one of us has played an important role in the development of our class. On that last day of kindergarten 13 years ago, many of us started our journey together. Over the years, we have had some classmates move away, some new ones join us, and some of us has been, have been together since the beginning. But no matter when your life as a Briar Jumper began, we all share the same connection today. We've built friendships that will last a lifetime and share memories that will live in our hearts until the day we die. This, the connection that we have as a class is a unique one. When we move on and make new friends, we will never be able to duplicate the relationships that we, have shared to, that we share with each other. 
none of our new friends will know what a jumper walk is. They will be confused by the explanation of one of Miss Bird's or Miss Rubel's pie days. And I would not even attempt to start a conversation with someone by asking them if they've ever seen the movie Carlton Action Black Sea. <laughs> Before you leave tonight, look at everyone around you. Look at everyone that's sitting around you. Some of them may become your lifelong friends, some you might keep in touch with a while before losing contact, and others you will never see again after tonight. No matter how long you stay in contact with each of your classmates, they have all had some kind of effect on your life. We have made each other the people we are today, and for that we deserve each other's thanks. I would like to thank all of you for making me the person I am, and for making each other who you are. I, will love, I love and will miss all of you. The achievements we have made thus far are phenomenal, but thanks to the help and support we have received, our potential for future success is limitless. I have already expressed as much thanks as I can to our parents, teachers and coaches, and each other. But before I finish, I would like to quickly acknowledge as many of the other people that have got our class to this day as I can. Thank you principals, guidance counselors, superintendents, school board officials, school secretaries, custodians, cafeteria workers, family friends, and anyone else in attendance tonight. I'll say it one last time for everyone here. Thank you. I love all y'all.